Today, California is the third largest oil producing state. But to stay a leader technologically, economically, and for the state of the planet, we must be at the forefront of a just transition towards renewable energies. My name is Drew Tesca, I'm with Uproxx, and I'm here in Sacramento, California, in front of the governor's mansion where people from across the state have come together to demand that our politicians and elected officials stop taking money from big oil. Oil has been traditionally a great servant for our Western culture, you know, since the late 1800s. But now we have a lot of technologies which allow us to not be dependent on oil. Imagine if we had the same communications technology that we had 100 years ago, right? Like, hello, hello. <laughs> I mean, it's preposterous. When you come to a place like California and you, and you find out that there are no laws or no regulations that say that the drill has to be set back a certain number of feet or miles from a residence, a daycare center, a workplace, it's really alarming. 32% of these chemicals cause cancer. 43% are genetic disruptors. 58% are immune suppressants. It is criminal that people are being poisoned in their own homes and unnecessary. Governor Jerry Brown and I both went to the Paris Climate Talks in December 2015, and he really came wearing the mantle of a climate leader. And in some respects, he deserves to be cast in that role. So while he talks a good game and has done some great things like getting in a million electric cars on the road here in California and creating policy to do that, he's not going after or even addressing the worst polluter, which is crazy. Jerry Brown also, in the past six years, has taken $10 million from the oil industry for himself and his projects. Because of the money the oil industry is spending, they're making sure that we don't switch to those clean technologies. It's preposterous that we are gambling with our future of our planet and our public health in such a ludicrous way when we have technology that will deliver us the same energy that doesn't cause those health impacts. Not to mention that there are two jobs for every one job in the renewable energy economy. What do we do? We speak up. And so what that means is our voices have to be louder than the voices of the oil industry. And they fracking up the water, the monies and the mineral survivors in the slaughter. So when the smoke clears, the embodies on the line, contaminate the water, the machines still grind. Blood and oil spill, so we barricade the roads. Cause we fight for our rights, we will never back down. Never allow another damn pipeline in the ground. And we protect the sacred money cannot buy. Sacramento represent hands in the sky. For more information or to get involved, go to oilmoneyout.com.